Hi guys, how are you? Well, in the, my first video, I want to try to explain to you in my, in my not very good, good English, um, so sorry if I do mistakes. Um, what do you need uh, if you want to improve your level? Okay, I'm gonna tell you some things to, to try to improve your level. Doesn't matter if you are professional or amateur, doesn't matter. If you want to improve your level, you need some things, okay? And I'm gonna try to explain to you in that video what do you need. The first thing that uh, you need, we think, is a coach, okay? Is a coach. Because, doesn't matter, I repeat again, if you are amateur or professional, okay? Um, many players make decision uh, every day if you okay today I'm gonna I'm gonna play squashed tomorrow I'm gonna do fitness after tomorrow I go, I'm gonna rest because, because I'm tired and we think this is not a good way we think absolutely we are absolutely 100% sure that you need a good coach the coach is gonna do the game the daily plan the weekend plan the monthly plan for you and he is a professional and he needs to to, he, he's going to help you in everything. Another important thing, the first thing is punctuality. You have to be very punctual every, every day, every session. You have to need to have respect for your partners, for your coaches, for your group of training. If you, as an example, if you train at 10 in the morning, you have to arrive to the club minimum 30 minutes before the training to have time to, close, to change your clothes and you, to do a good warm up. You have to be ready for the training, ready for the training uh, at the time. You know, if you start at 10, at 10 o'clock, you have to be ready for that. Next, you have to be very concentrate, very concentrate in the full session, always. Maybe someday you are tired, maybe you, are, you feel fresh, but doesn't matter. You need to try always to give your best good body language and good attitude. If you do that, for sure, you're going to improve. But not all the players are able to do that or are willing to do that. So if you do that, for sure, you're going to improve. Another thing after the session is very, very important, a very good cool down cool down after session you need to do a cool down many players oh no I, i'm tired i go home I, I take a shower and tomorrow is another day no you're gonna have injuries you're gonna be more tired the next day for sure it's very very important the cool down first is warm up then is session and then is cool down also you need a good planification okay um, you need to to try to try to find a good short term goals okay no long term goals short term goals maximum two three four five weeks because you need a motivation if you have a goal of nine months later it's too much because if something happens you have an injury or something all you're gonna put in the rubbish so you need to have uh, short-term goals very very important in a, in a year you will have maybe 12 15 20 25 goals but short terms please is very very important another thing we we think is very important to visualize the success okay so every every time you want to train you need to think about okay i'm in the competition i have to, i'm i'm playing with that player that i want to win i have to give my maximum i have to be positive so you you need to visualize that you won the tournament you with the trophy and and you need to to try to to visualize that kind of things also and uh for me one of the most important things maybe the most important thing uh, is that you have to be humble humble in in everything you need to to have respect respect for the club facilities uh, people partners coaches all of them you need to be humble if no 
maybe you win some tournaments, maybe you win matches, but in the future, for sure, you don't gonna have success. The last thing I think uh, you need to understand if you want to, to improve is uh, you need to try to, depends if you are amateur or you are professional, more or less, but you need to try to be healthy. No, healthy 24 24 7 if it's possible um you need to to, to rest uh to have good breaks during the week to rest and also the, either you need to to drink a lot of water you need to drink a lot of isotonic drinks you need to eat very well and it's very important you try to be healthy okay um some players some players they are very healthy during the week, but in on the weekends they are not very healthy. Okay, so if 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 you don't train, if you don't don't are healthy, if you are not healthy, sorry, if you are not healthy in the weekends, uh, what is going to happen on Monday? On Monday you don't going to train well. On Tuesday you don't going to train well. Maybe on Wednesday you start to train well. Thursday you train good friday again very good and then saturday again you go you go uh, to do you are not healthy maybe you go party something like that and you are always in the same way in the same way in the same way and you don't gonna be able uh, to have a good performance long time it's impossible so if you think that all the things that i told you you do in the right way nothing to say just try to be honest with yourself okay be honest with you analyze the things that i told you and if you think that you are not doing the things in the right way try to change try to change because it's the only way to improve your level okay so thanks so much for for listening to me and hope it, it helps you